What is going on, guys? And welcome back to Alabama, the Griffin Hunting Alabama 2022 special. I see we are sitting in for the day one evening hunt. And I'm in what's called Uncle Bill's stand. Named after a guy named Uncle Bill. But anyway, we're in his the, this stand. And you see there's corn. There's corn on the ground down there. And that trough thing. Um, trying to get a nice view. See that lighter patch? A grass. That's corn. That's all. That's, the lighter stuff is corn on the ground. Oh, hold on. There we go. Anyway, so before we zoom back out, here's my rifle. 7mm weight is what we will be shooting. And anyway, yeah, guys. So. Anyway, so yeah. That's what's going on. We have all over there to shoot. All over, all the way to here. So we have a pretty wide shot radius. But anyway, guys, that's gonna do it. I'll see you when something interesting happens. What's gonna happen is I'm gonna film a deer, and then I'm film a deer for a second, and then I'm gonna take the shot off camera because I'm hunting, hunting by myself. This is my solo hunt. But anyway, so yeah, I will see you later. Bye bye. Okay, guys, I think I'm gonna take this moment right now and explain the rules. So right now we are allowed to shoot. Uh, if it's a buck, it has to be eight points. Eight points or bigger, or out past the ears. The antlers have to be out past the ears. If it is a doe, we can just shoot a doe. And or a hog, we can also shoot hogs. I think there might be a, something over there. Hold on. Just a second, guys. I think there's something, something moving. I thought I just saw something with tail's flick. Something's tail flick over there, like a deer's tail flick. Guess not, because it's just like a bird or something. But anyway, guys, uh, come zoom out. Okay, okay, so there we go. So those are the rules of what we're working with here. But, um, so yeah, I'll, I'll, I'm going to film with you if I see him, and then we're going to drop him dead. So yeah, so right now, Griffin Hunting is out. Okay, guys, just to update here, it's approximately 3.30. After it gets dark around 5.36, so we got about two hours to wait. Before then, they'll do like one hour, 30 minutes, two hours before them deer should really start coming out. And we got just a lot of songbirds. I don't know if you can see one, but there's one right there. And there's a couple in this patch of trees here. But there's songbirds everywhere. Like there's woodpeckers. That's not really songbirds. segment but we are in the stand day two day two of hunting it is saturday january 15th and we're in the same stand uncle bill stand and it is the morning hunt so yeah i will see you with it with the updates in a little bit bye okay guys update it's officially light outside i probably wouldn't shoot yet but it is light up. i can see Boys, we just got the smackdown on a small toe, boys. Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go. Dropped him right about 50 yards. He just fell right over. Oh, boy. Who doggy. We just dropped him right dead. Right then and there in the tracks. She just fell right over. I think it's a doe. It might be a... a hopefully, it's not a button buck. I feel really bad. But it was a really small doe. But we're only allowed to shoot the small ones. Because, um... She, Mr. Mike doesn't want the bigger ones... To, for she wants to keep the breeding does, but ladies and gentlemen, we just got the smackdown, boys. Wow, meet in the freezer, boys. Let's go. So, all right, I'll see you when we walk over there. 
We got him, guys. It's a nice doe. We got him. It's a nice doe. I'm really excited about this one. I need to load this up, and then I will I'll load this up, and then I'll, I'll video it back at the camp. So, see ya. Okay. So, we got the deer all hung up. And now, it turns out it's actually a yearling buck, which is a bit sad because there's no, that, but there's nothing I could have done about it. See, it's no, no, it absolutely has no antlers at all, and it, and it doesn't really have any, it doesn't even have really any balls on it either, so there's absolutely no way I could have known it was a buck. But, so, but sad to see, but it happens. So we got it all hung up, we're going to wait for the rest of the others to get here, and then we're going to... They were gonna skin it out and stuff, so yeah. See you guys later. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm just checking in because I just wanna say I am so excited about this deer and I feel so, uh, it's such a good opportunity. And I'm so happy that I was able to get this deer. As you see, I just wanna talk about shot placement. I got him right, the bullet entry wound was right in there right at the top of the shoulder, he was sitting like this. He was sitting like this, with his leg like this. And so that was there, and then the exit wound, as you can see, is just a gaping hole. Just a massive gaping hole. So that's this shoulder. It's probably not gonna be salvageable, but since I hit it at the top of the shoulder like I wanted to, I think we'll be able to get a lot of meat off this one. Of course, the hams, tenderloins, and back straps, and some of the paunch can, we can grind up, and some of the neck meat. There's not much in, not going to be much meat on this deer. Hopefully tomorrow or t this afternoon, if the rain isn't supposed to be so bad, might be able to get a bigger bigger doe or a hog. So, yeah. I'm, I'm just so excited, guys. I can't... I'm so grateful to be on this trip, and I just can't express how excited I am to be able to pull the trigger on a nice deer like this. I'm just so excited, guys. That's going to be it for me for now. I'll see you later for the butchering process. Okay, guys. Oh, it is I, some afternoon after I shot my deer in the morning. My little, my little, um, doe-ish deer, because technically it was a buck, but no antlers or anything. So my doe-ish deer. So, the afternoon we're back in the exact same stand we were in this morning. It's supposed to rain pretty good later, but we're going to stick it out in the stand. That hopefully that'll help. But when I look at the deer moving... Or in the hogs moving, the pigs. And ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be rock and rolling, looking for them deer and shooting them deer, shooting the hog, looking for the hogs and look, shooting the hogs. So that's what we're, our plan. Still shooting the seven millimeter 08 Remington Savage Axis with Hornaday reduced recoil because my brother shoot this gun, so we use reduced recoil. But but um. Hornaday, day, I think it's like 130, 125 or 135 grain, I don't know exactly, I could be completely wrong, but it's a lower grain bullet, obviously, but yeah, so ladies and gentlemen, that's all for now, and I'll see you later, so see ya. Okay guys, check in with an update, it is approximately 4 o'clock in the afternoon, it gets dark at 5.30, but anyway guys, it is the rain. It's not picked up much. It started to rain a little bit, but it's not not bad. And I'm not haven't seen any signs of movement other than a couple of stray songbirds like doves and cardinals and blue jays and stuff. But there's my view over there, and there's my view over there. I shot my deer. The deer I shot this morning. The rain is picking up, as you see. As you can hear, too. The rain's starting to pick up. My dad, about 30 minutes ago, shot at a doe. He thinks he hit it, but 
he thinks he hit it, but he's going to look for blood now. It's going to be hard because it's raining. Hopefully the blood hasn't all washed away. That would be very unfortunate, but... Yeah, so we're still sticking out. You've got about the 45 minutes hour to an hour of shooting that left. So yeah, just a quick update from your boy Griffin Hunting. And yeah, I'll see you in a little bit. Ladies and gentlemen, we are two for two today. We just dropped in dough. We just got in, boys. Wow. We just dropped the dough all on the Griffin Hutton channel. Sorry I didn't get the chance to film it, but it was just standing right perfectly broadside for me. We are two for two, two deer in one day, boys. One buck and one dough, boys. We are balling on these fools. Let's go. Yeah. All right. I'm going to wait about 20 minutes, and then we're going to go retrieve it. So see ya. I'm so excited, guys, just to say this. We just dropped another dough, boys. Let's go. Okay, see you guys. Ladies and gentlemen, here are our deer. This one here is my dad's. He made an excellent shot. And this one is mine that I just shot on the on the Griffin Hunting channel. Look at this. It's got, like, weird wart things. I don't know what all that's about. I think it's just a skin deformation or maybe an old injury. But look at this shot, guys. Fell right over, boys. Let's go. Right there is where I shot her, I think right in here, um, I'm trying to find the exit, the hole, where's the hole, I don't know where the hole is guys, but I'll show you all that when we put it out, I just wanted to show you our deer, so, so there, end of the video, but I was just going to recap and say we got two does tonight guys, so I'm really excited, we're going to bring home three does to fill the, th no, one little bucket looks like a doe, and three and two real does. I'm just so I can't be more pleased with ourselves, guys. We got, we're gonna fill the freezer, boys. That's what it's all about. That's what hunting is all about getting that meat. And I will see you guys later. Peace. Okay, guys, gonna make this quick. But well, as you see, we have both of our deer gutted with all their with all the y'all guts are out. As you can see, there's my exit entrance hole or exit hole. I can't find the other hole in the ribs. My dad absolutely blew his deer away. See right there and right there. So he made a pretty good shot. So yeah, and as you see here's my deer. So yeah, so signing off for now. I hope you enjoyed Alabama, the Griffin Hunting spe Alabama special, and I will see you later for hunting back at the 80 acres in Newberry. See ya!